supposed to be the exact same color as your bum hole. Blanket wrapped up like a little yeah, bum hole. Yeah, my little bum hole. I'm feeling sorry for myself because I, I came back from holiday yesterday and I don't feel well. Picked up something from somewhere and I'm I'm being punished Ooh. for having like lots of fun, for like having lots of sex fun, <laughs> UTI, Ooh. urinary tract infection, and piles, hemorrhoids. Holy, the holy, holy trinity. trinity of shit yeah it doesn't feel good <laughs> i we really wish i had one of those like you know like the donut ring cushions right now that would be that would be oh so good oh my god yeah you know what the more yes. the more i talk about it with people the more i realize how many people have had piles slash hemorrhoids so many people probably yeah. about half of my friends i've definitely got something going yeah. on down there i think i was talking to you about it you were like well most people in their thirties, it's been like quite a long time to like live with your bum hole for. So obviously something's, something's gonna, gonna pop gonna off. I mean, your bum hole goes through like a lot of stress every day, every day, and it's the exact uh-huh. same muscle as your mouth. And I mean, our mouths. Well, <laughs> I think our mouths can deal with a little bit more. Wait, what? Apparently so. It's a sphincter, right? <laughs> supposed to be the exact same color as your bum hole, your lips. Yeah, apparently really? so. Oh, how lovely. How lovely. But yeah, it goes under a lot of stress. <laughs> and when you put lovely. it under extra stress, like with sex or with IBS yeah, exactly. or with drinking alcohol, mm-hmm. partying, drugs, like my bum hole was just All like, absolutely not. No, not today. I'm done. <laughs> checked Bye. out. Well, more like, oh my God, like literally checked out, like popped out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. no. You have to like pop your little like <laughs> bum hole back in. You know, what happens when you like this is a uh, just an inquiry. What happens when you have hemorrhoids but really like having anal sex? Like, surely that just makes them worse. You surely shouldn't have anal sex if you have hemorrhoids. Did you hear my stomach go then? <laughs> it was like really unhappy. It's like, oh. it was like, oh. Um, oh yeah, no. I would not <laughs> recommend anal with hemorrhoids piles. I would not no. because what they are are you've got glands inside your butthole, um, and then when when there's mm. when you're under a lot of stress or you're pushing too hard or your bowel movements are different, these glands can swell. Mm. Um, they either get infected or they swell for whatever reason. And a lot of the time, like, oh. it's very normal. People can just, like, have that and it doesn't bother them. They don't notice it. But when they get really bad is when they swell to the point where every time you, like, take a shit, then they can pop out or they're just that's out so, okay. without the shit. And that's when they're really painful or itchy, uncomfortable, sore. Um, there's no way people are going to be wanting anal when they've got piles of hemorrhoids and they can that you know they're so normal they they come they go um oh so you don't no, stuck with them no no, don't no. like that's it for life no it's just it's basically just like having a I uti see. a urinary tract infection they just come and go you can get you get medicine for them um the oh. worst thing to do is when you're sitting on the toilet and you're on your phone and you're not shitting you're just sitting there relaxed oh God, and pushing yeah because it puts a lot of pressure on those glands on those like veins and all the stuff going down there and that's what makes it yeah. worse and obviously when you've got the shits when you've got the runs you're just sit- sh- sitting there waiting for the shits to keep coming or to keep going don't fuck dehydrated this is why i got my uti because i was dehydrated on holiday we took shrooms and we ended up fucking on the balcony like dehydrated like still like maybe like <laughs> wait f- like filthy <laughs> you know like not clean sweaty sun creamy sandy probably i don't know i don't know where the sand's from we weren't even at the beach that day but you know you just get sandy on holiday for no fucking reason Fuck, and we yeah, fucked yeah. well f- fingered and fucked and it was the thing i think i think it was the fingering the fingering oh the fingering what, and yeah. then the uti happens because i'm just so yeah. dehydrated 
the last time I had holiday sex, it was actually in my like long relationship. And it was like at a point where it was like actually near the end of our relationship. So things yeah. were not good. Like we were not having that much sex. And we went away for one of our friend's weddings in Spain and we fucked so much. I'm not saying it was like the most amazing sex ever because it wasn't the most amazing mm. sex ever. But like for us and that relationship, yeah. we had great I holiday sex. But I think it was taking like us away from like our normal yeah. kind of like relationship vibe. And it took us into this new thing where we could like, you know, be a little bit more free and a bit more freaky, you know? And it, we were going to a wedding. Which yeah, also, weddings. Like, you know, makes you think of like love. Like romantic and, and horny and like, oh, everyone's being like nice and proper mm-hmm. and we're off doing this filthy, nasty thing. It's definitely taking yeah. yourself out of Hot. your regular routine and your regular situation. Um, that mm-hmm. I think that definitely makes a massive impact. But it's holiday sex is a weird one. I think it either works or it doesn't, and it also just so depends on where you go and the situation. And all you have is time really to fill. And when you're with somebody, like filling that time with with intimacy is is good. It, it works out. Tell us more about this mushroom balcony sex. 